So while it's fresh in my mind, um, I believe that the time rules in 160 are without unnecessary delay, without unnecessary delay, promptly, five day rule about notice to defendant when they don't want to steal the case, 45 day rule notice to the DA or something, a 30 day rule when they're going to steal another court's record. Um, so it's a five day, a 30 day, a 45 day, unne without unnecessary delay, promptly. Um, and then there is, I think, an immediately upon sentence when there's a non criminal offense, they steal the fingerprints. And so it's like windy as fuck out here. And I'm going to try to do this from memory without the book. for the drug thing for out of jurisdiction defendants that has got to be on 30 days notice um, to the court and DA in the other jurisdiction they have to give the uh, out of jurisdiction DA and court 30 days notice what are, there's other time rules and, oh there's promptly something, something about promptly for transmitting the rap sheet whether it's to the court or the DA or DCJS transmitting it to the cops, the answer is promptly. Whether it's the cops or DCJS doing it, when it says something about transmitting a fucking rap sheet, it, the answer is promptly. Anything the clerk has to do with regard to stealing, the answer is going to be immediately. Immediately in that section. 12090. Arrest for other than a felony, the cop shall inform defendant he has a right. Wait, is this even on the fucking test? I don't even know. But there's something about two hours. The two hour rule that I was trying to talk about before was that if a cop arrests somebody on a warrant for another county, they could hold the person for not more than two hours 
Well, I guess while they're trying to like transfer custody to the correct cop or whatever it is, cor correct location. Oh, when a superseding or prosecutor's information um, is filed and then it subsequently is superseded, the time that it's actually dismissed, actually deemed dismissed at the time of arraignment on the new accusatory instrument. If the cops arrest a juvenile offender or an adolescent offender, they must immediately notify. Arrest a J.O. or A.O., they have to immediately notify the parent or other PLR that the juvenile or that the juvenile or adolescent has been arrested and the location where he's being held. As far as I could tell, the only time that I remember seeing in these early sections that the cop has to do anything immediately was um, about the, the kids. The, there was a fourth with earlier, but the only time it said immediately was with regard to uh, the juvenile offenders or adolescent offenders. And because this is the first year that there ever was such a thing as an adolescent offender that they might ask something about it on the test, especially because that person was not even con that was not even considered like a kid before it was considered an adult so now they're saying no this is a kid you have to immediately notify the parent and trying to study at the same time because there is no time in anybody's life to study for this fucking test they gave us three months well they gave everybody four months technically but like anyway here i go it's fucking criminal time rules that I'm trying to memorize while walking in the rain to my fucking car. Alright, this is uh, criminal time rules continued. Um, 17010 notice about a member of the same family or household being the victim has to be served within 15 days of arraignment. Another time rule in here is that a local criminal court may not at arraignment or within 30 days of arraignment on a simplified traffic information. They may not accept a plea of guilty on anything relating to traffic if it resulted in death or serious physical injury.